Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can autofocus in NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima and also how to keyframe your camera movement in here. Now, I know I already made a video about this previously, but unfortunately, this process did change just a little bit. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Here we are. If you haven't seen this short, go ahead and check it out on my channel. I'll put it in the top right corner of this video here. It's a little short that I made. All right, so here is the camera movement that I did with that short. I really do like small movements, just really, really small ones. I don't like big movements. So if I press play right here, you're going to see that it's just kind of pulling back a little bit from our character right here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just go to perspective here. And what that's going to do is let me fly around in the scene. Now, there's obviously two of them. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and hide this one. Go right here. Actually, it's the other one. So hide this one. Okay, so once that's good to go, go ahead and find your frame, just like that, and I'll go ahead and work in real-time mode, so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Now, we are now in real-time mode, and if I go to perspective camera, I can create a camera from this view right here. And just like that, I have a new camera, camera number 5. And as you can see, camera number 5 does not have any animations, and let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Now, if I go to camera right here, and I type in camera, and I type in camera 5, and if I go to the detail panel, just kind of twirl this up, you're going to see all of these options for us exposed now before there is a animator or key animation uh, kind of window right here in the bottom right but that is gone for you to animate this pretty much you're gonna have to go to the curve editor and then let's say we want a little bit of tighter shot so I'll press W right here hold right click and press W I'll kind of get in a tighter shot right now let's go ahead and auto focus this robot now by right clicking and saying focus here now let me go ahead and change the focus so you can kind of see what that's doing I'll just kind of move it to like five or so and I'll change the f-stop to like one and you're gonna see that it's gonna be completely out of focus and I'll just right click focus here and there it is it is going to be focused now as far as the bokeh I'm gonna go ahead and go to number two and pretty much just go with whatever look Looks good for you but that looks good for me right here now the focal length is 18 that is a little bit too wide for me but that's okay for the sake of this tutorial and without being said the next thing we're going to do is just right click this focus distance and we're gonna press set key what that's gonna do is create a keyframe for that focus distance okay so once that focus distance is set I'm gonna go around 520 frames this kind of, or 500 frames is okay and I'm also going to keyframe our camera location so I'm gonna go to translate right here right click and I'm gonna say set key now we've set the focus distance and the translate of this camera and just to make sure I'll go ahead and set another focus distance set key right here now I'm gonna move on to maybe 700 or 800 900 frames then move forward a little bit because like I said what I want to do is kind of push back from this character right here and again what I'll do now is hold right click press S on my keyboard and that's gonna pull me back a little bit and then what I'll do is go to the translate set another key and then again I'm going to right click that character and I'm going to say focus here after that let's go ahead and set that focus distance to set key and now if I go back you're gonna see that we're going to have that camera movement in there additionally the focus is also animating because if you watch the focus distance right here it's around 74 it's going to go up to like 78, 79, and 80. So that is pretty much it. That is a pretty big change with the machinima right now that's currently in the launcher. That is how you keyframe your camera and also keyframe your focus distance. All right, so with that being said, if you haven't done so, go ahead and check out the Omniverse contest that is going on right now. First place is going to get an Asus Pro Art Studio 3080 Ti laptop. That's crazy. A Razer Blade 15 with a 3080, MSI Creator with a 3070 Ti. These laptops are so good. They're so much better than what I have. But look, guys and girls, go ahead and go to this website right now and submit your short film made in Omniverse so you can win. This is going to close June 27, which I believe is Monday. And like I said before, y'all subscribers to Jay's Films, y'all have pretty much a head start because I've been making a lot of content in Video Omniverse, teaching you how to install it and everything like that. If you haven't seen that playlist, go ahead and check it out in the description below. I'll put the link in there because you have this weekend to create something and submit in this contest. Go ahead and check it out. Read the rules and regulations. And man, I really do wish you luck. And like always, I am trying 
trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. So please do subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about NVIDIA Omniverse and Unreal Engine. See y'all later.